So we have problem and solution. Smart to move plates, the 3D plates, measure forces in three directions. Our lateral forces, our anterior posterior horizontal forces, and our vertical forces. Essentially our ability to sway, to thrust, and to rise. So we've got a case study here, a player that was struggling to create enough AP force heel toe direction underneath his trail foot. We like to see the difference between lead foot and trail foot to be one and a half to two times. In this particular case, it was very low under his trail foot. So the solution, we had a drill that helped him create more force and a ground reaction force to aid his ability to move and essentially aid his ability to create more speed. Okay, so let's look at this case study. We've got the smart to move software here. So we've brought up this particular study here, this player, and we're gonna look at his AP forces. So we can see from the position of his arm on the downswing, that's an ideal timing of those forces. And there's lots of videos that you can find online on the website that will help you understand about the timings. So when we look at the magnitudes and the amount that he's pushing, we can see that what, what, what I mentioned in the introduction was that we're trying to get that 1.5 to two times greater underneath the lead. However, we can see this value here at 5.7 it's a little bit low underneath his trail foot. Ideally, we want to get that closer to 10, and then we can then push the lead up to around 15 to 20. So then we're gonna look at the drill that we use for this player to help him create more of that AP force. Okay, so let's have a look at the video of this player and him doing this drill. And this is part of the progress that we made through this session. So this was the foot slide-in drill. So we used a slide-in plate underneath his trail foot to help him create essentially more force underneath that trail foot and that anterior posterior force, push him back to get a ground reaction forwards. And we could see here as we play this through, slide in that plate really hard, really quickly, slide in that plate behind him. And we play that through once more and you can see how Essentially, he was getting into position, loading, and then really sliding that plate as far back behind him as possible. Okay, so let me teach you how to execute this drill. So we've got a simple foot slider, and we're gonna place it underneath the trail foot. Really want to be placing it underneath the balls of the toes of the trail foot. So we place this one down, we get into position. So we really want to peak that force when the lead arm is horizontal downswing. Okay, so that's when we're gonna be really pushing backwards as hard as we can underneath the trail foot and pushing forwards as hard as we can underneath the lead foot. So with this player, we're trying to increase that trail foot force, that AP force, and trying to raise that up to nearer 10%. So I'm gonna get into this position here, and this is where essentially we're really trying to push hard. So I'm gonna do this as a motion drill and slide that foot plate as far back as I can. Force precedes motion, I push back, my body then can rotate and create a better motion, essentially to aid my movement and help me create more speed. So we can also use the T4D Train for Dynamic Training Aid to help with point of application. So now I'm gonna place that correctly underneath my trail foot to see that I'm positioning it underneath the balls of the toes. So place this in position. And the same drill again, we know we need to peak that force, especially here as I'm demonstrating when the lead arm is horizontal and the downswing. So I'm gonna start from the address position. We're going to move into the data then on the Smart to Move app. And we can see from the graph here of him when he is doing the drill, we can see the data and how we've changed that AP force. When we look at the vectors as well, that increase of AP force is actually tipping and tilting the vectors. So we're seeing that trail foot vector pointing more down towards the golf ball and the blue one, if that's increased, tilting back away from the golf ball. So we talked about how much we wanted to activate and increase that force underneath his trail foot. And this foot sliding drill has increased it from just over five that we had at the start up to 9.2. We said we wanted that trail foot to create more around the 10% mark. So we can see now we've got a greater amount of force underneath his trail foot, how well that foot sliding drill worked to create extra AP force.